What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do something a little different. Today we're going to do something a little bit more personal. I just want to take a few minutes and kind of talk about what I do and how I have achieved where I am to this date. Okay. Now a lot of people have asked me about what I do for a living or, or how do I achieve all this, all the things that I have. Um, and I thought I would just try to explain that. And I thought maybe uh, I would put together a video of a little bit about what I do and maybe it would help somebody else someday get motivated to do the same. So I remember when I was younger, okay? When I was younger, I remember driving by somebody had a really nice house or maybe they had a really nice car or they had a good job or you just I just remember when I was younger looking at somebody that seemed successful and I've always wondered man what do they do for a living how do they afford that how do they achieve that and that was always my motivation because I looked at all these different people that were successful in life and first off let me just explain something success doesn't always mean expensive home it doesn't always mean expensive car it just means that whatever your goals are if you're able to achieve them, you're successful. So let's just kind of get that out of the way. Um, no matter what, you don't have to have a nice home. You don't have to have a nice car. You don't have to have none of that stuff. It could be as simple as your goal in life is to have a good family, a nice, healthy family that you love, that loves you, that you're support, you know, gives you full support. If you have that, you're already successful. Okay. So the point, the point of this video is not to kind of rub anything in anybody's face or to say that I'm more successful than somebody else because that's not the case okay I'm just explaining what I what I do to achieve where I am at okay so but back to what I was saying I've always looked at other people at their successes and wondered what do they do for a living and I always when I was younger um, Again, I didn't come from a rich family. I actually come from a very poor family. I grew up in the outer skirts of Pittsburgh. So in a town that was very low income, wasn't a whole lot of jobs, not a whole lot of opportunity, and um, just a very low income area, right? So I didn't grow up in a wealthy family, okay? Now, back then, this was probably in the late 90s, things were getting bad in the area I lived, and my parents decided we're gonna move. We're gonna get out of this area and, and move somewhere else to see if that will open up some more opportunities for us. So my parents knew they were gonna have a longer drive to work, and uh, but it got me and my brother out of that area. So we, about probably the late 90s, we moved out and um, sold our house and we got an apartment, um, probably about an hour south of where we were, and that changed my life. You know, we, it opened up more opportunity, more people. Because if you listen to any type of motivational speaker, a lot of them will say, you know, your successes are dictated by who you hang around with. I mean, do you ever hear the old saying, you are who you hang out with? It's very simple. If you hang out with a bunch of people that don't have any motivation and don't have any goals, and you're most likely not going to have any goals or motivation yourself. So sometimes just surrounding yourself by others that are successful in your eyes can open up opportunities for you right there. All right. So we moved out and to make a long story short, basically I dropped out of high school my senior year, uh, got a full-time job and started working, but that only lasted so long. I sort of knew that, you know, that wasn't going to get me where I wanted to be in life. So what I did was I put myself in school. Um, I've always loved drawing. I've always loved drafting. So I went to drafting school and I put myself through school and I paid for it. My parents didn't pay for it. I did it myself and got student loans and got it paid off. Graduated with that. And uh, at that time, that was for a drafting degree. But at that time, CAD was coming in. So they weren't really hiring too many drafters. So it was back to working full time with some other job. Now I've bounced around from job to job, um, different things. I was a banker. I, uh, I managed, you know, video stores. I was a car salesman. I did a lot of that. I've always been in sales pretty much my whole life, but I've always loved real estate and drafting and, and things like that. So eventually, you know, fast forwarding a little bit, 
Um, met my wife, you know, uh, moved out to where I am now, out here in the country more. And, um, you know, we started having kids and I just knew that this is not where I wanted to be. I, I wanted to be more successful, not just for myself, but for my family. So I put myself back in school. So here I am probably in my mid twenties, um, maybe late twenties, you know, I'm starting to have kids live in a small house and um, going to school full time. So I was going to school at nights, weekends, um, while still working a full time job and taking care of my family. So it wasn't easy. I mean, there was many nights I didn't sleep at all, but you know, I knew that the, the effort and hard work that I needed to put in was gonna pay off. So eventually I graduated, got my bachelor's in business management, still have my drafting degree. That opened up a couple of other opportunities for me and um, did it all with student loans. So it's not like anybody paid for it. I did it on my own. And then had a couple other opportunities in, in the meantime, but then an opportunity came up working for a builder, a big corporate builder, okay? Um, got my foot in the door there and worked my way up. I was with that builder for probably, let's say six years. And um, that really changed my life. I was making a lot more money. I was, you know, obviously I was putting in extra hours. I was working a lot, but I was making more money and I was able to provide my family with a better life that I wanted for them. Um, and then things started changing with that builder and then I switched to another builder. You know, so again, it's not always about the education you have. Yes, I will say education is extremely important. It does teach you a lot of different things, but a lot of it's just putting time, putting time in, you know, work hard. Um, people always ask me what I do. I just say I'm a hustler. I work hard every day, all day, and uh, there's no shame in my game. I will do whatever it takes to make money to provide my family with a good life. So, but back to where I work, I now work for another very, very large builder as a design consultant. I basically meet with people, um, talk to them about their home building needs, help them find land, um, help discuss land development with them. I help them pick the right home. I discuss budgets, price out the home. I custom design homes for them if they need to, uh, based off of their specific family lifestyle needs. And um, that's what I do. I sell new home construction for a living. That's what I do. I work pretty much seven days a week doing that, but um, it's fun. I enjoy it. I like drawing. I like real estate. I love home building. I love construction. I love all that stuff. And I get to do pretty much all of that in one job. So um, that's basically what I do, but that's my main job. On my side job, I still do eBay. I buy stuff, sell stuff. Um, I do that all the time. Even without eBay, I'll buy something. Maybe it's a car, you know, I buy a car and uh, fix it up, flip it, sell it. And, you know, eventually I probably am gonna get into real estate, uh, flipping homes or just starting my own construction company and building homes myself instead of working for a builder. So, but I always have ambitions, that's the thing. Okay, uh, I watched a couple motivational speakers say this one time and it always sat with me. Dreams without goals remain dreams. Meaning, have a dream, dream big. You have to have dreams. You have to have give yourself ambition, dream big. But if you're not setting goals to achieve those dreams, those dreams are going to just remain dreams. You're never gonna get anywhere. So what you need to do is have a dream. Dream big, doesn't matter. It could, whatever you want in life, dream about it. Then you gotta start making goals and those goals are gonna help you achieve that dream, okay? So I've always wanted a big house. Worked for a builder, worked my way up, got my credit up, saved up money. Again, I had my first home, I was able to sell that, use the money I made off of that as a down payment for the new home, and I built my family a house. So that's how I was able to build this house. Um, I could afford to get my wife a nice vehicle. I had uh, my little black car, you've probably seen, that was my, my work vehicle. So eventually I paid that off, so I gave that to my daughter. So that's pretty much her car. I wanted the truck. I've always wanted, I've had trucks, but I've always wanted a, a big built truck. I've always wanted one. Never had the money or the time or really just the money to do it. Um, so this time I figured, you know what? I'm gonna buy something. Now, here's the tip. If you want a big lifted truck, okay? And you don't really have the money to go buy a brand new one like some people out there, that's okay. You don't need to buy a brand new truck. 
go buy a used truck and build it from there. If you don't want to do that because that's still too expensive, see if you can go buy a used truck that already has some modifications done to it, maybe a lift kit um, and big tires. Start there. You know, it doesn't matter. You don't have to have the newest, the biggest and the greatest. Just do something. If you have a dream and a goal, go achieve it. It doesn't matter. Don't worry about what people say. There's always going to be people at the top. There's always going to be people at the top. But you need to know this. They started at the bottom too. They just worked their way up to the top. You're gonna might you might have to do the same. So again, no matter where you start off in life, whether it's your job, whether it's your family, whether it's your house, whether it's your car, start you're gonna start off somewhere. But dream big, set those goals and work hard to achieve them. And I guarantee you, if you put in the hard work and the effort, and again, even if you're in a location where there's no opportunity, move. Don't be afraid to move. It's okay. Go find a place, even if it's an hour away, like I did. Just go to a different area, go rent. You know, move away and open up opportunities. Opportunities don't always just land in your lap. Sometimes you have to go chase them down and make opportunities for yourself. So that's it, guys. I mean, this is a real short video. Um, I just wanted to kind of show you guys that I'm just a regular person, I'm a real guy, okay? I started from the bottom, I grew up poor, and worked my way up. So, you know, when I hear people saying they can't do it or there's some reason or excuse why they can't achieve something, that's bull crap to me because I think hard work will get you what you want. It's just you have to go work for it. Now, if you don't wanna work for it because you can't or you're lazy or whatever, that's fine. But keep in mind, that was your choice. If you don't put in the effort, you're not gonna get the reward, okay? But I promise you, if you have dreams and you set goals and you work hard to achieve those goals, you're going to achieve your dreams. And don't give up. Life is gonna beat you up and smack you down, but I promise you, get back up. Keep working hard. Keep taking everything that, that life keeps hitting you with, but move forward. And I promise you, you're gonna achieve your goals. So that's it, guys. I just wanted to give you a quick little heads up about what I do for a living. Um, I'm always working seven days a week trying to make money. And that's what I do. I'm a hustler. And that's just, just is what it is. Um, but I just wanted you guys to know that, again, don't give up on your dreams. Don't let anybody tell you you can't have something. You can't achieve something. You can't be who you want to be. You can't have what you want to have. Don't listen to any of that. You dream big. You set goals. You work hard. And I promise you, you're going to achieve your dreams. So that's it, guys. Hope you like this video. Leave me a comment. Like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Share it around. Let me know what you think of more personal uh, videos like this. And uh, if you like these type of videos, I'll start trying to do more. Um, so as always, I appreciate each and every one of you. I do highly thank you for subscribing to the channel, liking these videos, leaving comments. And uh, I do appreciate it. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.